In 2017, Disney made an announcement that would shake the world for every Star Wars fan across the galaxy, the Galactic Star Cruiser. For those unaware, the Star Cruiser is an immersive, two-night roleplay within a highly themed hotel environment. For most Star Wars fans, this was a dream come true. Unfortunately, the price, along with other circumstances, made it very difficult for the experience to be a success when it opened in March of 2022. Despite its lack of success and inability to sell out most excursions, it still came as a massive shock when the announcement came in May that the Star Cruiser would make its final voyage in September of 2023, making the entire lifespan of this incredibly ambitious project just over a year long. Now, once this news came out, many began theorizing about what could happen next. I was not planning to make a video on this since I felt everything I could think of was already said, but recent news made me rethink that decision. In an interview with The Points Guy on June 27th, Josh DeMauro, chairman of Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, discussed the future of the cruiser for the first time since the announcement of its closure. When asked about the future of the Star Cruiser, DeMauro simply said, no hints yet, but something will happen. While this may not seem like much, it's actually a bigger deal than you'd think. It shows that a plan is at least being considered to the point where that plan cannot be made public. For this video, I want to explore some potential outcomes for the future of the Galactic Star Cruiser, giving my thoughts on each idea. Before we get started, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel so we can continue reaching Disney fans with our fun discussions. Without further delay, let's dive in. One of the first ideas on the minds of curious fans was to make it a normal hotel. Just a regular available hotel for Disney with a Star Wars theme. No storyline, nothing crazy, just a hotel theme to Star Wars. Well, this idea comes with some challenges. For one, the hotel has no windows. The windows are just screens looking out into the far fiction of space. And while this wouldn't bother me much, tons of people, including my own sister, feel very uncomfortable trapped in a confined space with no windows for the fresh air. Also, the hotel lacks some basic amenities that most hotels at Disney have, like a pool. Of course, this can be added, but it would have to be indoors to maintain the theme and storyline, which wouldn't be too popular for tourists looking to enjoy the Florida sun. Ultimately, I think if the price is acceptable and some of the roleplay is maintained, Star Wars fans may be willing to fill the hotel despite the shortcomings. But it does create a niche. Granted, a bigger niche than what it used to have, but it still alienates a wide consumer audience. Moving on, another potential for it is to offer one-day excursions, reworking the story to eliminate overnights, thus reducing costs and opening it to more guests each day. While this idea is not a bad one, it turns out Imagineers did propose the idea before the announcement of its closure, and the idea was rejected by the CEO. Another idea is to use it as an extension to Galaxy's Edge. Essentially, the idea is to expand Galaxy's Edge up to where it hits the hotel entrance. The entrance, which currently looks unassuming and basic, would be redesigned to reflect the actual Star Cruiser docked at a spaceport. Upon entering, guests will be able to interact with the current amenities, dine, shop, and roleplay without having to buy a room overnight. This idea is, well, I suppose it is the ideal one, but it's an impossible fantasy. The amount of money required to do this is unimaginable, and I doubt Disney wants to invest more in something they're currently in the red with. Maybe they could do the same idea, but have guests board the transport truck and enter the same way they do now for the hotel? That could work, mirroring the type of experience you get when you take the train in Animal Kingdom to the conservation station. It's not a bad idea, and one that they could potentially explore. It's definitely one of the more realistic ideas. Another idea would be to reopen the experience as is, but in the original trilogy era. While I do not personally agree, many critics of the Star Cruiser have blamed the failure in part to it being a story set in the sequel trilogy era. I do agree the original trilogy is more popular, but I think the incredible immersion and storytelling found in Galaxy's Edge and the Star Cruiser prove that the chosen era is perfect for the story they are telling and the world they are putting guests in. That being said, the lore of the Star Cruiser makes it perfectly viable to take place in any era. In fact, Disney could go so far as to rotate eras which would encourage repeat visits. The problem with this theory is that it would, like with the previous idea, require more investment. I am sure whatever they do to the Star Cruiser will require money, but I have to imagine Disney wants to spend as little as possible to get this running again. And that brings me to the final theory. It's being demolished. While this may be the worst outcome, and the one I truly hope is not the case, 
it is a definite possibility. Just reread Josh's quote. No hints yet, but something will happen. Well, demolishing it would certainly be something happening. Also, it was previously reported that Disney was getting a significant tax rebate for closing it down, which would probably cover demolition costs. Again, I really do not want this to happen, and I doubt Disney wants to destroy all the pristine technology and theming found within the building right now, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. So what do you think will happen to the Galactic Star Cruiser? Did you have a chance to visit it before? I wish I could have. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. We also have Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.